Okay, so let's do this last example. This is a little bit complicated. You have three vectors, and this is real, well, cl yeah, real life. So given the map, uh, given on the map, so we'll, I will show you the map later, find the resultant vector displacement from UST to a house in Fairview. I used to live in that uh, part of Fairview. So I ride with an FX car from UST, so I commute. So the FX, travel, FX travels 10 kilometer, 40 degree north of east from UST to Filcoa, and then it proceeds about 6.4 kilometer north, passing the Commonwealth Avenue. So I just approximate it as a straight line, although it's a little bit curved, but uh, it's, I simplify that as a straight line. And then pass, passes about 2.7 kilometer north of west going to that house, to that area where I live. Are you ready? So I'll show you now the map. Okay, so from UST here, what I did from UST here, University of San Tomas, the effect travels approximately a straight line up to Filcoa. Okay, so I think somewhere here. And then there's another vector. We can assume it's straight line along the Commonwealth. So it's a rough approximation actually. And then going to the village. So there's another vector that's somehow going uh, north of, of west. So let us, I, I measured it and let us now uh, put the given variables. Okay, so I have some given variables here and uh, basically uh, some, of, some of them have, is an, an approximation, okay? So you have vector A, 10 kilometers, 40 degree north of east. Vector B, 6.4 kilometer north, straight. And then vector C, 2.7 kilometer, 20 degrees north of west. So let us now draw the, um, the coordinates. Okay, so let us uh, draw this straight line and try to visualize the vectors. So let me use a different uh, color. So vector A is 40 degree north of, of east. So I already graphed this, but I'll just show you how I graph it now. So 40 degree north of east, so about 10 kilometers. So I just move some, somewhere like this. Okay, so that's your vector A. Then the FX moves north straight 6.4 kilometer, something like this. So let's say this is your uh, vector B. And then your vector C is about 2.7 kilometer, 20 degree north of west. So a little bit some, somewhere like this. Okay, so this is now your vector A, your vector B, and your vector C. And what we want to find is the resultant vector. Okay, so using polygon, this is the resultant vector. You can review the previous uh, videos to, to to know how to deter, to how to use or how to solve or to do polygon method. Okay, so this is your resultant, which is a plus b plus c. And with polygon method, I was able to answer for using polygon for polygon method I was able to determine the R and that is about uh, so you use your ruler or at least the the measurement tool in in uh, the, the map Google map so I, I was able to measure 14 points point 14.0 kilometer I would say and the angle using protractor I was able to get uh, 70 degree north of east okay so take note of the given and now let's do let's compute that using polygon uh, using a component method so let's try to solve it so to be organized it's better to use a table something like this okay and for our first vector vector a Oops, let me compute this. 
for vector A, it says 10 kilometer, 40 degree north of east. So the 40 degree is this one. Okay. So that's AX equals A cosine theta, which is, what is it? 40. Ah, no, no. Uh, 10 and then the angle is 40. So that's 10 kilometer cosine of 40 degrees. And I think you should get an answer of about 7.66. Okay, and then for the y component ay, that's equal to a sine theta. That's 10 sine of 40. Now using ca your calculator, you should be able to get an answer of about 6.43. Okay, how about vector b? You can, you can pause the video and try to compute or solve it on your own. We'll see later if we get the same answer. So I'm not following significant figures here. So it's, you can check other videos about that. But for now, just to make it simple and faster, you know, I'll just stick to, to whatever is the decimal that I, I need to, to follow. Okay. So B cosine theta. Now for B, that's 6.4 kilometer north. And if it's north, the angle is basically 90 degrees. So, okay, wait, what is it? 6.4. 6.4 cosine 90, which is, as you know, cosine of 90 is 0. So that's easy. That's easy, this is all easy to solve. For BY, that's uh, B sine theta. So it's similar, 6.4 sine of 90 degrees and sine of 90 is 1 so 1 times 6.4 you should get 6.4 kilometers and let's just proceed now for vector c cx is equal to what is it what is it 2.7 20 degree uh, 2.7 cosine this is critical because this is the 20 degrees but as we've said we have to use the angle that is with respect to the positive x-axis so this is the angle that we're going to use and that is about 180 minus 20 so 160 degrees so that's the angle that we're going to use so 160 degrees now use your calculator you should get an answer of negative 2.54 okay and then for cy similar 2.7 sine of 160 degrees okay then you should calculate or you should get an answer of 0 0.92 and the next step is uh, determine the summation of all the x and then summation of all the y so just add 7.66 7 plus what is it zero yeah was zero so we don't need to write it minus 2.54 and then summation of all the x is equal should be equal to what's your answer it should be about 5.12 okay and the summation of y is 6.43 plus 6.4 plus 0 0.92 and then that should be equal to summation of y is equal to 13.7 Okay, now let's go to the other side for the resultant. And the resultant is square root of summation of x squared plus summation of y squared. Okay, substitute the value that's equal to 5.12 squared plus 13.7 squared. And the r is should be what? Uh, here I was able to get 14.6 kilometer. And for the angle, that's equal to inverse tangent of summation of y over summation of x. Inverse tangent, well, substitute the value, you know. So you have 13.7, uh, 5.12. The angle should be what? 69.5 degrees. But where is that? Positive y, positive x. So where is that? Right? Positive y, positive x. So this 69 degrees is somewhere here. So somewhere here. 
okay so therefore r is i think i don't have enough space 14.6 kilometer 69 or 70 yeah, 69.5 degree north of east and this is now our final answer now is that correct now if you compare that with our measurement using polygon method again 14.6 kilometers 69 look at this this is what we measured using a ruler or the measurement tool of the map and then the angle so it's pretty close right okay so i hope you've learned something from the examples that i presented here um if you have questions or clarifications you can put it in the comment and we can discuss it you know and then i hope you learned something so see you again in our next topic i hope you're excited for the next to topic on kinematics okay that's all for today choose bye bye